So, hello everyone. I decided to make a video um, on my personal transition from Ubuntu Unity to Ubuntu Mate. And, well, why, right? So the core question is, why would I do that? And why is it important um, to think about such a transition? Well, if you, you know, if you have browsed the web recently and if you follow a bit of a sort of news around Ubuntu, then you might have seen a lot of these posts, for example, on Reddit, uh, regarding an announcement uh, by Mark Shuttleworth, the CEO of Ubuntu, um, uh, Canonical, that uh, Ubuntu is abandoning Unity. And that was quite a surprise. <laughs> uh, you know, just recently I've, I've seen a post on Hacker News um, asking for, you know, sort of improvements and feature requests and ideas from the community, how to make Unity even better. Um, so I had a lot of hope on uh, sort of, you know, the, the new pathway of Unity and, and uh, making Unity better in the future, because there were some things that I found sort of not optimal myself um, in, in Unity. So, and then recently I upgraded from 16.10 to 17.04. And why keeping Unity, right? And then suddenly I, I, I saw this post on, you know, the end of Unity. And I, I was quite, hmm, how should I say? I was a bit, I felt a bit interrupted in my sort of, you know, in my, in my work and in my setup. Because I, I thought I, I don't want to, you know, continue with a sort of an abandoned uh, desktop environment. So I decided for myself, I, well, I guess I need to switch from Unity to something else. And I didn't want to abandon uh, Ubuntu because, you know, it's just, it's installed on, on, on this laptop on my ThinkPad X230. It, it's, it just works, more or less. Uh, basically, no, it just works. And um, I didn't want to undergo the hassle of, of uh, completely sort of, you know, removing Ubuntu, installing maybe Fedora or any other kind of distribution. No, I wanted to keep Ubuntu. That was sort of my my main premise here. Um, and and but also I did not want to do any new fresh installation. I just wanted to migrate, right? I wanted to sort of move away from Unity, which is dead, to something else, which is maintained. And, and so for for a while now, I've been listening to the Ubuntu podcast, and um, there was a lot of mentioning of. Ubuntu Mate and well there was never a real reason for me to, to, to you know to seriously take a look at Mate because I was happy with Unity and I, I really had hopes and uh, you know, that Unity is going to be developed further and, and, and improved further and but now with that announcement I decided well maybe you know maybe I should sort of give it a try um, and move back from Unity to sort of an, an older, that was always my impression, to an older system, Mate, being based on, on GNOME 2, uh, whereas, you know, like Unity always seemed to be that modern desktop environment, whereas Mate is more of the traditional environment. So I installed the package. So what I did was I, I asked and asked Ubuntu, how, you know, how do I do this migration? So my question was, how to move from Ubuntu Unity to Mate. And well, then I received this, you know, straightforward answer. Well, just install this package, which I did. Then I rebooted and I could just sit on, my, on this login screen, I could just switch from Unity to Mate without doing anything else, right? Without removing anything or configuring anything. It was just this one package. I rebooted, I switched from Unity to Mate on the login screen, logged in, and that was it. That was, and this is, what you see here, this is Mate, right? But then, but then the real sort of work began because I wanted to, well, I, I had some concepts, you know, and some, some sort of routines that I acquired while using Unity, and I wanted to have them here as well. But there were also some things that I found always very annoying in Unity and that Mate does a lot better. 
For example, I love to work in a distraction-free environment. I don't want to see anything except for maybe my wallpaper <laughs> and maybe my active application, right? That's all I want to see. So what Mate is really, really good at is in hiding the top bar and the bottom bar. I can just go to, you know, the, the panel properties, hit auto hide and, did, and gone it is, which is great. You know, I love it. Um, but then I had some other sort of challenges because from, from Unity, well, I was used to, you know, to have sort of my indicators here, my, my, I call them still tray icons. They, I think officially they're called indicators. Um, and some of them were missing for some of my core applications. Like this, I have a laptop lit status indicator. I'm using cuttlefish for some sort of, you know, uh, do some actions like unmounting my, my external hard drive um, and these icons they were missing and um, and I was wondering why and then I went to the great I must say really really great community forum here and just asked for help and 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 they pointed me to the right direction uh, and I had to use indicators um, so instead of let's go here Instead of having only traditional sort of um, tray icons, they are called notifications, I think. Um, I removed those notifications and instead enabled indicators. And, and the way to do that was Mate tweak. And I think it was interface. No, it was panel. Oh yeah, panel enable indicators. And that allowed me to use sort of Maybe they are modern, modern way of tray icons. Well, let's call them. Let's let's say indicators are modern tray icons, <laughs> um, for for better understanding. And and doing that, you know, gave me enabling that gave me back my indicators. So far, so good. So now it looked almost like you know what I'm, what I was used to from Unity, with the advantage and benefit that I could auto hide them. You know, a feature that I was always missing from from Unity. Then I stumbled upon something else on unity it was great to see sort of you know my remaining battery time which the default battery um, icon of mate does not provide so i i scratched it i removed the default mate one and instead started to use again these i think it's the the, the unity one it's it's this is the u I'm not sure if it's a Unity one. So what I did was I installed indicator. Which one did I install? Sudo apt install indicator power. And then I only had to start it. And um, so I added this indicator power to my startup preferences. Let's go here. Uh, indicator power. And the way I started is user lib la 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 indicator power indicator power service so basically i'm just starting this power service on on you know on startup and that gives me this sort of i would say more you know just for me better battery icon with a bit more information than the default one and also using indicators now gives me this a little bit better um sort of sound menu here which i like from unity so basically i feel i have gained something I have gained something from moving from Unity to, to Mate, which is actively maintained. You know, I feel, and, and that's also what I hear from the podcast often, that they really do care about the, the Mate desktop. They plan to, you know, improve it a lot. They, they, they do a lot of changes to it, and they're really committed to providing um, a really good Mate experience on Ubuntu, which is good. So, and you know, for me it was great because I didn't have to re reinstall an entire distribution. I didn't have to switch distributions. I could stay on Ubuntu, which I like, and I could stay with a community now, Mate, that really takes care of the desktop. Um, and then I guess my only two things that I would like, you know, that I'm still sort of investigating and um, that I seek some improvements on is this sort of task list switch. So let's open another application, for example, this one. 
And if you now switch between applications with, what is it, Alt-Tab, I'm not too fond of, you know, this representation here. Um, I think it could be like visually improved, could look a bit better, could maybe show the entire window title name or just remove the entire title name. I think like, you know, if I recall Unity, on Unity, this just looked a lot better than here on Mate. So maybe that could be improved in the future. Also, um, my touchpad of my X230, it used to work, I think, better on, on Unity. It, it felt smoother. And what I noticed, mouse going to touchpad, changing these things here, they don't have any effect. Um, and they don't have any effect because I need to use uh, another configuration file, this synaptics conf, because here I do some things that fix my touchpad because out of the box this touchpad is a bit buggy. So I had to use this touchpad file. Um, but as soon as I use this config file, then I cannot do any changes anymore. At least the changes I do here in the mouse preferences, they don't affect the touchpad anymore. It's a bit, well, they do affect it. So if I disable it, then it doesn't work anymore. So apparently some actions do take effect here, but not the pointer speed, which I would like to regulate. So that's a bit of a pity. And then the last thing is um, I have on my, my laptop has these media keys to change my sound, right? Increase volume, decrease volume. And I can go to this maximum, which however is not the maximum. I could go further, which I would love to do, but it just doesn't allow me to do that um, with my media keys. I can go down again, but I cannot go beyond 100%. And I recall that this was possible on Unity. So this would be great to also have that support because otherwise I'm really happy with, with my setup. Oh no, one last thing. Um, I, I like to use an, a quick launcher, which is called Albert, right? Albert Launcher. Um, and Albert Launcher is this box here, right? To quickly open an application. But look at this big shadow, right? It's, it's just, wow, it overwhelms me. And I, I find it really distracting. And if I go to Mate Tweak, and just look at just look at normal windows. They have sort of a more subtle, I mean, shadow. I'm still I, I don't like shadows. I would like to remove them completely. Um, and I use Marco Compton GPU Compositor. Um, uh, and that's still an open question to me. Um, and I ah, yeah, and I use it because if I don't use a Compton GPU Compositor, then scrolling in the browser in Chrome becomes very, well, it's not a good experience. It becomes, you know, I see stripes and just some visual errors, which I don't like. So I enabled this GPU compositor, but then I have these shadows and I, I would like to disable these shadows. So that's still on my list to, to sort of resolve. But other than that, I'm really happy with the experience that, and, and you know, really appreciative of the work that Mate has and the community has done here. Um, to provide this great experience. So if for people, you know, seeking for a new home, leaving Unity, I can really warmly recommend, uh, especially on Ubuntu, to, to give Mate a try and to also join this community and um, be part of a really cool dist well, distro and desktop. I hope that was useful. If you, well, if you have any sort of ideas, thoughts to, to what I've said, you know, regarding my points that I mentioned, um, just leave me a comment and um, I'm happy to, to respond to you and um, have a conversation. That's it. Bye-bye.